Like you're awake. Yep, yep. I prepared some breakfast today. <sighs> it's nice. Well, now that I've recovered, I'm behind my bed. Oh, by the way, someone brought a letter for you after you went to sleep last night. Nope. Paima wanted to read. Oh, ahem. <clears throat> as heroes of some. Oh, I've also heard that you've become heroes here as well. Everyone's aware of your. Anyway, let's go to the great. Oh. Before you leave. Good morning. How do you... We feel much better. How about you... I'm recovering well. But from the looks of it... It's fine. I'm not... The Elazar patients... It seems once Ermin... Yes, but there are still... The Withering is one example. By the way, we have to... <laughs> Huh? You mean he, he visited once, but he was a And you probably already celebration feast. Huh? Hmm. Uh, come to think of it, Sino doesn't see you and Kale are both Sino's. Kale has taken over some of my you see, some VI Huh? VIPs? Well, technically speaking, they are Huh? Yes. He's Lesser Lord Kusanali and her boundless mercy has decided to when they learned that Lesser Lord Kus as a result work That sounds really exo There's nothing we can do, re but that's another topic. Ah, right! You've recovered well. You may go, but be careful. Well, there won't be any problems if the feast starts at that time. Everything is- Mr. Zubair, I finished telling things up here. Well- <sighs> Is a simple reply really- Oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> hey, Milu! Traveler, Paimon! I got your letter, so here we are! You're the best. The other guests haven't even replied yet. Huh? Are we the- Yeah. I have Look, I get it. Sum Nilu is Sumeru's number one celebrity, after all. <laughs> if you consider enjoying Nilu's dip because Paimon thinks ever That's right. We all- Nilu is an absolute fit master Zubair. Nonsense, it but indeed- Ooh, good idea. Uh, there's always a lot going on at Yeah. Traveler and Paimon, could you help if for some reason they didn't receive- Yeah! We can also check out how every- Hmm. As for Sino, I'm not too sure as for Junior Zod. Okay, got it. Let's go, Traveler. Seen I'll hate them anywhere. Uh, let's ask that per <clears throat> Hey there, have you seen I'll hate them around? Yes, it seems scribe out, but you're already the second group of people. Oh, who else was looking for him? Mr. Cave was just here asking about him. You wouldn't believe. Don't tell me everyone's here looking for God. No way, we're strictly. <laughs> 
should be around here somewhere, right? Oh, he's over there! But it looks like he might not have time for us. Just put down that worthless book and tell me what happened in the academia. This is not just some worthless book. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to find a physical book like this in Sumeru? It doesn't matter. It's probably just another thing that you used your authority to get your hands on anyway. Just put it aside. Listen, I came back today only to hear that the sages have disappeared. Oh? You sound surprised. I thought you would already know the inside story. Would I be here asking you if I knew? You're the scribe, not me. So just tell me what you know already. Well, I almost became a sage. Huh? Oh, don't sound too surprised now. You're the renowned Kave, light of the Kasharawar. Besides, as a master builder and craftsman, chances are you'll be appointed as a sage too. Hmm. Why do I feel like you don't really mean it? Huh. What makes you say that? Why would you question my heartfelt sincerity? Maybe it's because you've never said anything good about me before. Yeah, well, I share a similar sentiment, and anyone who knows you as well as I do would surely do the same. Ah, oh, you... See? This is why I hate discussing anything with you. Your ridiculous and arrogant attitude always gets in the way. <laughs> it seems that you really can't stand my personality. Ha! <laughs> what was your first clue? Well, then you might as well move out of my house. Are you threatening me? Stooping to a new low, I see. Ugh, and don't change the subject. You, a sage? What a joke. The academia might as well just close tomorrow. Are they having a fight? <sighs> Forget what's going on with the academia. Haven't you been busy with your construction project? Tell me, when are you going to build yourself a mansion? Don't get me started. I get angry just thinking about it. So, what great building did our master architect work on this time? Like I need to tell you. Keep your nose out of my business. No, I think we deserve to know. Where were you when Sumeru needed you most? I was in the desert for a large project, but considering Haravatat's utter ignorance of architectural and aesthetic matters, you probably wouldn't understand. Oh, which is truly unfortunate. I can only pity the man who doesn't understand the first thing about beauty and romance. Unlike a true... Uh, hold on, uh, wait a second. What do you mean by when Sumeru needed me most? Well, while you were out fiddling around in the desert, many people came together to save Sumeru from a crisis. Ha! And you think I'd believe that? Look... All you really need to know is that Azar and all his accomplices have all been overthrown. Huh? What nonsense are you talking about? <laughs> it's no skin off my nose if you don't believe me. It's not like my Darshan was the one trying to apply for funding from the Grand Sage. Hmm. Yours, though, on the other hand. You know what? I'll ask around. I'm sure someone knows what's going on here. You're dead if I find out you're lying to me. Oh, it's you two. What's the matter? We're running some errands for Nilu. Have you received her letter? Letter? Nilu said 
she sent out a letter inviting If she addressed the letter to all Haytham of- I've been busy these- Have you always been- Of course not. Kainari told us they all went- That is already the best possible ending for the likes of them. Four of the six great sages were possessed by their desire for power and attempted to create a new god. In order to- Yeah, you're right- Yes. It, it's said that when the numerous Darshans have sprung up and faded, now- the six Darshans are nearly among the six great sa- Unfortunately. So who's managing- Yes. Oh, didn't you just say something about becoming a sage? If they pick you, then we'd have a huge connection- Yes, about that. <clears throat> you didn't let me finish. The person in charge of personnel affairs nominated me to be the grand- huh? I'm not even interested- Oh, all right. That's not my job either. I'm only responsible for handling important affairs with- <laughs> And the first thing I'll- By the way! Do we look like friends? Jaime doesn't know- His name is Kave. My roommate. You could say he's the representative for Ksharwar scholars, which is exactly why he always has so many problems. So everything that's happened recently must be a huge change for the people of Sumeru. Such is the work of the Academia Scribe. Well, anyway, no matter- busy you are, since you are- All right. Is that Paimon I hear? Huh? Oh, it's been a while. Dinyarzad! It's been so long since we've seen you! I'm doing well. well. I can go as far as... I don't know if you've heard, but Elazar has completely disappeared, and all the patients have recovered. Are you kidding? Knowing them and the connections they've... Got... Yeah! That's right. My lady is feeling better now, so I'm accompanying... Why do you still call me that? <laughs> I guess I'm just... Resignation? Yeah, I might start losing my edge if I keep being a bodyguard for the Homeyanis. You know that my parents and I are fond of you, and that we appreciate you very much. <laughs> I'm not- When I took this job, I had already decided that I'd quit as soon as you'd recovered. It's time for me to- So what are you gonna do now? <laughs> I wanna take a risk- Huh? But- I know. If I hadn't joined in that plan with- I guess I still get- Life is short. And I'm happy that I got to be a part of that opera. But the whole thing all... Well, I remember a friend. You mean I'll hate them? <laughs> we just came from Doc... Did he tell you that he suggest... What? I heard that a czar... Whoa. Hyman can't see you being anything other than a mercenary. <laughs> me, me. Ugh. Ugh, forget about it. I'll hate them probably just like the way I work. But you know, it's because you're... So <laughs> the mod... In fact, I chose... Even if being a merc... A lion has to return to the... I don't... Wanna I'm glad to hear you say it. Come on, no need for the sad face. It's not like we'll never meet again. Once the whole Dendro Archon thing, but a peaceful society will probably mean less demand for mercenaries like me. Huh? Well, no, not... So, have you been... Oh, uh... She heard that you were seen a... Huh. It was prop... My lady has been very... Right, and we... So what it really... I bet the letter's at the... Re no wonder there wasn't a... Ah, uh, sorry to make you... It must be something important. Yes, she said they were... Great, I'll be sure to count me in, too. But is there some sort of dress... Since it's being organized by... All right, then this is... The feast will be held in two days. Sure. Thank you so much for letting... Oh, by the way... The General Mahamatra always... Oh. But last time we met, he met... As for Raman, your guess is as good as mine. I only remember he... Don't mention it. You'd be All right, I'm <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
It's been a while since we last visited. Ah, there's Sino. Hmm. What brings you here? We recovered well, and it seems Kendarva. Mm -hmm. And that's good to hear. Yeah. You're welcome. But why are you just standing? I'm meeting some people. Oh. I've already talked with Ken, but you know one of the people I'm. Oh. By King Deshret's blessing, my friend suddenly appears in the desert. <laughs> Don't tell me you. Roman and huh? Sitaria? Oh. You. Oh. Well. Don't worry, these are- I see. I'm doing well. Same here. We Ooh, tell- Yeah. All right, well, I suppose- I've decided to leave- What? It's not that I've given- I will no longer pursue research like- <laughs> I can see- Uh- I plan to leave the act- Wow, so- Sataria will return- She can't teach everyone on her own, but- Yes. It's my- that is the true meaning of- The people of King Deshret's, the stars have always guided- No, please. Where is all of this coming- You deserve these cops. Sataria's idea will bring much good to me. At first, I feared it was- As you know, all knowledge is under their surveillance and control. And ver- But what I heard at that time has been haunting my heart. As if there were- Sataria, you tread a treacherous- Sataria, why haven't you gone home? These words sparked something, and I gathered up the courage. Azar has received much needed punishment. Lord Sino helped me obtain. My plan was able to go smoothly. You're all doing so much. Aside from that, I also have some. Lesser Lord Kusanali has. I applied for a few batches of education. That's exactly. Apart from this, we must be persistent about this. This is the first time. Remember these words. Here lies our faithful priest. I hope people with wisdom. Enough about us. No. At all. Neither wanted to write a celebration feast will at the feast will also be uh although celebration feast it's the first I've heard and I was right <laughs> <laughs> it's rare to see that kind of a no not really but I'll go well I still have a lot to hear I'm afraid I won't be able to join you the message is, I'm sorry for how I treated you, you and the art you s please keep dancing and some okay we've got all that down our job here is complete as well. Got it. Everybody's already here. Looks like we're the last ones to arrive. I'm here. Ah, oh, there you are. Well, look who finally decided to show up. You look like you came here immediately after finishing up some work. I'm very happy to see you here. But we're not late, are we? It's just that everyone else arrived ahead of time. I propose that the last one who arrived be put in charge of today's speeches. Nah, there won't be any speeches. Oh, really? Come join us over here. Let's share some great food and drinks, and chat about all sorts of fun things. Everything looks quite good. Wow, Paimon can't wait! Traveler, just look at all the delicious food here! So 
delicious. Oh, this grilled meat tastes amazing. The food was specially prepared for you by everyone in the Grand Bazaar. And we have gifts that were sent by the residents of Sumeru City when they heard we were holding a feast. Everyone that came said that you saved Sumeru and wanted me to thank you all on their behalf. Ah, feels kind of nice to be seen as a hero. I could get used to this. Being a bodyguard is also a hero's job. You've always been amazing, Dia. <laughs> My lady sure has a way with words. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm happy to meet everyone that participated in the great plan. Don't mention it. Come to think of it, we've really done something impressive together. It's unbelievable. We owe it to our abilities. And luck. Really? Why do I remember everybody thinking that luck was against us and feeling like we hardly had a chance of succeeding? That's how I remember it, too. It's luck that brought us together, and it was luck that let us form a team. Then, it took even more luck for us to formulate a plan and implement it successfully. Moreover, judging from the results, everything worked out well. Yeah. Everyone gave it their all when it mattered most. It was almost like a performance. We took the stage and put on our best show. Everyone played their part, and thanks to everyone's efforts. So, would you say we're good actors too? It's such a blessing that Lesser Lord Kus- Yes! Even after being abandoned and- Uh-huh. Lesser Lord Kusanali once see- This should be something everybody should remember. Uh-huh. You look surprised. No, everything you said is- <sighs> That's good. Something wrong? Yeah, what's with that face? You knew all of this already. <clears throat> Even if those two giants of the Academia are here, I still have to say it. Those sages really have some nerve. If you bite the hand that feeds you, don't- Perhaps I shouldn't say- You could simply tell us- I respect our deities to sit- While we're on this topic. Are you trying to say that I'm fit to be a- <laughs> Why? Because he- <clears throat> But seriously though- I did have my own motive. If the rules of our nation- By that, you mean your life working as the- Precisely. Uh, wait, so that's the- It's reason enough. You've certainly got- You flatter me. All right then. How that's right. Will you be happy with it? It's not about being happy. Even so. <sighs> Thank you. I seldom participate in such li- No. The Grand Bazaar- That happiness? Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. The atmosphere here is good. <laughs> I don't often have a lot to handle these days. <sighs> ah, there you Well, how is it? <laughs> it's the first time, you see? Make sure you live it up tonight. I'm honored to have her think. I can't explain why. My lady, the gr- Yes! I also- What an amazing- You said it. Oh, look who else is here. Hello! Oh, I'm so happy. Hey, less of that- Hey, what's wrong? Your head is starting to droop. Hey, you can't just fall asleep here. Paimon will go find something delicious for you to eat. You wake up once you put something yummy in your tummy. Of course, just wait here for Paimon. <laughs> it's me. Mm -hmm. The connection between us is amazing. It's like full. I heard there's an amazing. Lately, I've been so awful. You've already helped. Please say thank you to everyone. 
Uh, oh. But if I just show up, what if I end up scaring them and ruin... <laughs> yes, I have. You said I should go think everyone is myself, right? So... I've decided to borrow your body for the... Are you awake now? Paimon was just about to... It's me, huh? Uh, hold up. I didn't expect to have a comp... No, no, of course not. Are you? Honey, oh, you know who I... Yes. Lesser... Lord Kusanali? I took the liberty of occupying the Traveler's body, so that... Thank you so much for... Without you... Had you not helped me to resolve the people refer to you as the please. <sighs> Lesser Lord Kutinirzad. You don't need to be so ceremonial. This is how the relation You're an Archon, but you act so humble. I thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Did you rest well? After Nahida left, you ate a lot of food. You've become a glutton. Hmm. All right. Since you're she should be in the acad. Is there anything you want? He's still in a coma. I, f I know you have many misgivings about him. Don't worry. I'll in addition, there is still s his future will be determined by fate. Are you sure? Huh? About... While you were resting at Gandharvaville, I took some time to perform an ermine soul search for information on your brother. Yeah! Isn't ermine soul a repository for all the information and memories of Tvat? So there shouldn't be anything on her or her brother. This is true in your case. Ermine soul indeed does not have any information on you. However... There must be something different about your brother. Because, as it turns out, the world has recorded information on him after all. What? There's only one possible explanation. He belongs to this world. But nothing about this makes any sense! Wasn't this your first trip to Tevat? Hmm... According to the records I was able to access, your sibling suddenly appeared in Conria. After the Conria disaster, he began his journey through the Seven Nations of Tevat. But just as his journey was about to reach its conclusion, the Ermansel records on him suddenly become fuzzy. What do you mean, fuzzy? Did something happen to him? All I know for sure is that somebody, for reasons only they can know, is deliberately obfuscating his fate. 
And whoever it is, if they can do that, who knows what else they're capable of. But even that wouldn't explain how he somehow comes from this world. Something else I noticed was that according to these records, the Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the Descenders. What's a Descender? Paimon's never heard of it. Look, I'm sure you must be curious about the information I received from the Fatui in return for my Gnosis, right? A very important part of the intel was about this world's Descenders. External beings, ones that don't belong to this world. Traveler? You are Tavat's fourth descender. Huh? So the Fatui count three other descenders before the Traveler, and her brother isn't even one of them? That's right. My current hypothesis is that the first descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. As for the other descenders, I still need to verify their existence. It could take me some time. <sighs> Paimon's head's about to burst from all this crazy new information. And yet, even knowing all this, I'm sure you must still have a lot of unanswered questions. I must say, I truly regret that I can't help you more as the God of Wisdom. There are many questions in my heart as well. I will need some time to go through each one of them. And soon, you'll also begin your journey anew and depart from Sumeru. I'm very interested in your future. It's a journey that can't be observed or recorded by this world. If fate is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be the ultimate fate. Paimon, sure glad we got to meet you, Nahida. The pleasure is all mine. I can't thank you enough. All right, that's enough talk for today. If you ever miss me, just close your eyes. And maybe I'll appear in your dreams. <laughs> <laughs>